Well, Bob wanted him a rabbit gun, so I got him an SS-12 from Fed Arm. Okay, let's do a little top to bottom here. <laughs> well, I guess we got the top and the bottom. Hey everybody, Brad C. here. I'm doing a video series on some guns I purchased from Fed Arm. Now today we're going to start with the little single shot here, the SS-12. So let's get it started. Okay, this is a Fed Arm SS-12 break action shotgun. Most of their dealings are with military contract groups, so you won't see a lot of them online, but they are available to civilians. Now this is made by Hunt Group in Turkey. Now I've seen a lot of guns very similar to this, almost identical, but there are just some little features that set the Hunt Group apart. First of all, let's look at the front sight. It's a nice metal bead sight. If you look at some of the others, they actually come with some sort of a little plastic sight. Everything's nicely done, laser etched. This is the only one that I could find that has this really nice stainless receiver. Now the price of these is way below $200, and that is just really impressive. Go to FedArm.com and check it out. I'll put links in the info section. Very lightweight gun, comes in at 5 pounds and 1 ounce. Almost uh, something you could have for a child. Now I will warn you, if you're going to get this for a child, there's one thing that you'll probably need to work on, and that is the trigger. Okay. It's pretty heavy. I mean, you're going to need to get a good squeeze on that, and obviously for an adult that'll be no problem, but for a child that might be an issue. Now there is an easy fix to that. I'm actually going to show you how to do it in my next mods video. Long story short, there is a hammer spring inside here. You're going to just loosen that up just a little bit, take it out a little bit, and it's going to be a much nicer trigger. But I don't have time to show that in this, but I will do that in the future video. Now, as you can see here, in its folded up position is 20 inches long and the barrel of course is 20 inches. Now, it's quite similar to the Chiapa Little Badger. I'll do a separate review on this. I actually modified this Little Badger. If you notice, most Little Badgers, they close to about right there. And I've always thought, why would you want a fold-up rifle or shotgun that only folds up that close? I just removed the bottom Picatinny rail, which it's got, you know, three rails on it. You don't need it. So that allows it to close up. Now the SS actually takes this a step further. I really like this. They make a little indention, a little inlet right there to where it actually fits in. The trigger actually fits inside of there. So that allows it to close up really close. What's fascinating to me is Fed Armament does not market this as any kind of survival gun. And you'll pay a ton of money for these single action survival guns and in reality this is absolutely perfect. Now let me show you why. First of all it folds up completely compact as you can see here. 20 inches and it would easily fit into a pack. Next it's going to be extremely durable. You have a synthetic stock, synthetic forend, and you have the stainless steel here. Now, a little secret that some of you may know, these butt pads come off, and of course most of you know that, but have you ever taken these off? Well, inside is a hollow area. If I wanted to store shell adapters for 20 gauge, 410, they even make it for 9mm, 22, whatever. I just wanted to show you the hollowed out area in the rifle stock. Now, personally, I'm putting my little standard emergency blanket and some combat gauze inside. And you can see that fits in there quite easily, and obviously I could put a couple of shells in there if I wanted to. Now, I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to do a video where I make this into a survival gun. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribe and that will be coming out soon. Now the barrel's 20 inches long and it's made of 4140 steel. Now it's a 12 gauge and it will take 3 inch magnums if you're man enough to shoot them. I'll personally probably be shooting something a little bit lighter than that. Now it comes with sling mounts here but I'll probably end up cutting these off. I'll leave the actual drilled in mounts. Now the reason for that is because most of my slings have these Grove Tech attachments and these are made in the US. USA here and this belt is made in the USA by Tough Grid. I'll put links in the info section because this is the best sling I have ever seen. I mean it is heavy duty, all paracord and it is just really nicely made. Now the gun does not come with a manual and this is plain Jane. Now, it comes in a, just a regular little box here but I will say for the price really really nice gun. I am totally happy with the finish on this, the quality on this. Now, something that makes this gun somewhat child proof is you don't even know where the brake open action is. It's kind of a secret. You pull back the trigger guard. I've never seen this before. You pull back the trigger guard and when you pull that back it breaks it open. But it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little system there. I mean it, it works nice, nice and clean. Pull back on that trigger and that pops it open. Now the feel on this is really nice, 13 and 3 quarters inch pull length. I can see the bead sight, sight acquisition is not going to be a problem. I mean obviously this is a shotgun so it doesn't have to be perfect. Just to make sure viewers are aware, this is Bob, he's a dummy. He thinks he's real but he's not. So we're not pointing a gun at anyone of course. But I just wanted to show you, you know, how it feels in the hands. It does fit really nicely in the Ruger 1022 case. And I've still got the Ruger 1022 in here. And it's going to close up nicely. 
So we'll zip that up just to make sure. Now you've got a quick put together little bug out bag that's got your Ruger 1022, a 12 gauge breakdown shotgun, and you're ready to go. Okay, let's test out the SS12. First shot fired out of it. Felt good. Really not a lot of kick either. I wasn't even really aiming for anything, but let's just see if we can uh, hit the steel down there. Yeah, I'm gonna put the limb saver on there and just see what it uh, see what it does. I, I got this because as you can see here, I've got a ton of guns to test out here. They're all shotguns and I've never had a problem with recoil, but I figured I might as well bring a limb saver. You notice whenever you break this open, it doesn't shoot the casing out. And I actually like that. I, I would, I mean, I know it takes a second to reach in there and pull it out, but at least it pops it up a little bit and you can grab hold of it and, and put it wherever you want to. Okay, let's test it out with the limb saver. See if that makes any difference. Yeah, it does. Uh, definitely, if I was going to be shooting more than you know 20 or 30 rounds, these limb savers are nice. And as you can see, it really doesn't change the looks of the gun much. I mean, from a distance, you probably can't even tell it's there. really like this. I'll put a link in the description. These are pretty inexpensive on Amazon. And I can move it from gun to gun, so. Okay, let's have a little fun here. Go ahead and get that blue one while it's on the ground. <laughs> okay, let's do a little top to bottom here. <laughs> well, I guess we got the top and the bottom. Man, that's just fun. There's not much more fun than shooting a 12 gauge shotgun. I mean, you don't have to be a a crack shot by any means. I'm gonna take a few shots without the limb saver because again I want to make sure we test it out to make sure it's comfortable as is and uh, if you've never shot a 12 gauge or a gun that really kicks hard just remember I'm certainly no expert but you do not want, I'm gonna unload the gun to, sh to show this, but uh, you do not want to just lean back like this and prepare for any kind of a hit. You want to get stable as if you were gonna you know be in a fight with someone and where they'd have to knock you off balance and then you want to hold steady but then give with the gun so you, you it's a steady give all right enough teaching like I say I'm no expert let's try to knock off just the top on this time there we go all right Next up, old blue. <laughs> oh man, that's fun. Now the big boy. <laughs> I tell you what, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit, I mean, it's going to sting a little bit more without the limb saver, but just a little bit of a sting it's not any kind of a hard jar or anything I'm actually surprised this gun does not kick that hard final thoughts on this SS 12 loved it I love the looks of it love the feel of it it's just such a nice little shotgun I will say that of all the shotguns I tested from Fed Arms it did kick the most but it's not like it kicks like a mule but I did use a recoil pad on this uh, after about the first 20 shots I put 50 rounds through this total put a hundred rounds through all these and I'm gonna continue to test these but I will say it felt really good for the price Honestly, you should have about five of these. <laughs>
No, not that kind of accident, Bob. Oh my goodness. Can we not make a single video without you doing that? Really inappropriate. I'm gonna have to start putting parental warnings up every time I put you in a video. Probably gonna get me banned from YouTube. And you're stretching out my hat. Big old noggin of yours, my goodness. Man, that's a hard head, Bob. I'll give you that. Alright, I'll leave you alone. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Oh, no, you're asleep. Oh, my. Alright, Bob, I'll let you get back to sleep. My bad. So I'm a little paranoid. Let's go ahead and get that blue one while it's on the ground. Did you get it? Yeah. Now, buddy bear, do me a favor. Don't say... <laughs>